this records and hopefully you can hear my voice. That guy's in a hurry. Go get him, tiger. All right, so, wow. Work was fun. The two people went missing um, that I went in to replace today and um, I guess they ended up getting fired. Get it for 
permission to have them online and stuff because it would just be easier to keep them out of it, uh, out of respect. I'm sure a lot of them won't even care, but still. Um, in fact, with the taco suit, they might even want to put take pictures and put it on their own web, their own uh, media, social media. There we go. We can talk. Let's do this, Joseph. You can talk. So, anyway, we're uh, heading home now.
anything to do anything. I was just not in a stable state of mind. That's all. So, anyway, I never had any ill will toward him. I never intended to come at him. I never intended to hurt him. None of that. Um, so, yeah, that night, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so I guess he's gone now. So we've lost four people now, got fired in two days. Um, the fourth one was a girl who worked here who, uh, I guess she spent a good amount of her time on her phone, like not doing anything. So, uh, she, I think she did a no call, no show too or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's, uh, that's life. So now we're understaffed again. And if it weren't He's, he was talking about possibly lowering my pay rate so that I could get more hours and still stay within my uh, my uh, restrictions. So I, I can only earn a certain amount of money and still keep my state health care. And right now I need that health care. So basically uh, I can't earn more than a certain amount of money. And in order to give me more hours to help out, we'd have to lower my pay rate. And I told him, if we're gonna do that, you're gonna need to throw in some kind of extra, like, incentive, because, like, I don't mind working for less, just so that I can help out and stuff, but this is a high-stress job, and, uh, you know, we're, like, we're allotted something like $10 in free food per shift or something like that, so I don't know, maybe he can give me more double it or something. I don't know. There's got to be something that he can offer to make it worth my while, you know. I don't mind helping him out, but it's a very stressful job and it's a very, you know, it's, the, it's, it's usually a pretty thankless job too, although more people have been a little bit more appreciative since COVID. Um, and on that note, with COVID, I wanted to talk about before and after COVID. So, before COVID, there's a lot of, you know, rules for sanitation and keeping germs out of food and all that. Before, uh, first of all, for the line cooks, for anyone doing the food, the only thing that has changed, really, is that they have to wear a face mask. Everything else, all the CDC guidelines, those were already a thing anyways, for OSHA and for the whoever else, the FDA. Food and Drug Administration, um, you know, they already had guidelines for all that stuff before COVID was a thing. So, anyway, um, those of us who do the drive through and other stuff, we now have to wear gloves for everything we do. Before, we didn't have to wear gloves except for when we were helping with food. Um, and in that case, we'd have to wash our hands first, sanitize them, and then put on gloves uh, before we could touch any food. Uh, which is standard procedure anyways for the cooks too. Um, so, anyways, now and before, if I were in the window, I could, uh, I could handle money, I could handle debit cards, I could do all that stuff, fill the drinks, um, you know, all that stuff, and then I could jump at the end of the line and I could grab the wrapped food and throw it in bags because I wasn't touching the food directly. As long as I was wearing gloves, it was fine. Although, in hindsight, not really, because I was just touching credit cards and cash, but that was the, the, the guidelines back then. Now, I'm not even allowed to touch that stuff unless I wash my hands and change my gloves. Um, so, wash and sanitize my hands. Anytime I say wash my hands, the hand washing procedure includes sanitizer at the end. So, if I say wash my hands, it automatically includes sanitizing, so I don't have to keep saying it both if I happen to forget. But uh, anyway, so yeah, so now we all have to wear face masks, and those of us working with the credit cards and cash, we have to wash our hands and do all that before we can help with packing orders if we end up doing that. And unfortunately, we, as I just said, we lost, we got four people were just fired. And I don't know what's going to happen with the woman who left today for her son being in the hospital. We may be without her 
for a time now too, depending on what's going on with her son. So we're down some people, guys. We are down some people. And what that means is we don't have enough to be doing things the CDC way. The only way to do it, uh, like the right way, is going to involve taking more time because there's less people and everything still has to get done. And the thing is, like, we'll still do that, but people are going to get upset because it's going to take longer to fill orders. Um, in the past, I found that people have been pretty understanding when there's only two of us working, for example, which has happened many times, and I'm doing everything in the window, and there's one person on the line. In fact, this happened just the other night. I had to do that. I, uh, you know, get the orders caught up, and as soon as uh, we were at a dead stop, I would go and wash my hands, sanitize and glove up, and then I'd help with food, and we'd get, you know, three or four orders packed up. That way I didn't have to keep going back and forth and washing my hands so many times. Um, because all that takes time. It takes lots of time to do everything the right way. So I will, uh, I, we'd fill three or four orders. That way I could go back to the window, hand out the first one, and then I could cash out the next one, hand it out, and get the line moving. And meanwhile, I'm still taking more orders as the line moves. Actually, pretty overwhelming. Um, someone with ADD would probably struggle a great deal with it. <laughs> um, I struggle with it, and I'm usually pretty okay. But like, wow, that's pretty. It must be. Oh my gosh, it's dusk, guys. It's going on five in the morning. It's like 4:35 in the morning. That's very, very pretty. You can't see it behind me, but it's starting to light up. decided he didn't want to work with someone, let me just say, the woman who refused to let me leave and the night I got fired, like, I was mad at her for a while, but I got over it, and I forgave her, and I've worked with her several times now since then, and in fact, tonight I even gave her a ride home, like, what's done is done, and it doesn't matter anymore, like, just let it go and work with the person. Like forgiveness, guys, I'm telling you, forgiveness is probably the second most powerful thing on planet Earth. Second only to love. Loving your neighbor, loving your, you know, your friends, your family, but loving strangers. And I, I don't mean like, you know, I don't mean you have to like them. I don't mean anything like that. I mean, you respect them. You treat them with kindness and dignity and respect. Even when they don't deserve it, you do it anyway. It will get you really far in life. I mean, I'm human. I am human and I'm talking all crazy hot. I'm talking like, you know, Gandhi or something. I don't know. Mother Teresa. I, I don't even know much about them, but I know that they are representative of peace and love. So uh, we'll go with that. But anyway, like, here's the thing. I get mad at people because I'm human, but I don't, you know, I don't hold grudges, not for long anyways. I mean, I am human. I will hold a grudge for a short time sometimes, but like, it's, it's not worth it. You'll be so much happier in life, guys, if you just learn to forgive. When someone does you wrong, you forgive them. And depending on what it is, if it's a big thing, cut them out of your life. It might be hard, but you do it because it's better for you. If it's something small or, you know, something that's not necessarily friendship ending, then, you know, forgive them. If you hold a grudge for a bit because you're a human, that's fine. But at some point, here's the thing that you need to know. Unforgiveness does nothing, nothing bitterness towards the person who did you wrong, it does nothing to them. It only hurts you. So, it's actually good for you, not just them, but you, to let things go and forgive. Like, it's amazing. It's so powerful. So, anyways, uh, I'm almost home now. I feel like it should have taken longer, but I 
guess it has been 21 and a half minutes now since the video started. So that's cool. But uh, anyway, um, I guess that's it for now. Uh, I think I want to talk a little bit more about the job with the COVID and stuff, but we'll do that later because I'm almost home. And when I get there, I'm going to carry stuff up inside and uh, eat a couple burritos or something. I don't know. I think I got some new comments on some previous videos I need to go catch up on quick too. So I'll do all that stuff and uh, I'll try to post another video later. Uh, just because I'm doing it in threes now, I don't know. Not on, didn't start out on purpose, but figured why not. So we'll go with it. Also, why is it I've recorded numerous videos that I never posted and well, um, in one of them I talked about deer. Here in Wisconsin there are so many deer. Last year there were 18,000 deer crashes. Um, car versus deer crashes. So I mean they're everywhere and now like I turn my camera on and they're just nowhere. But when it's off they'll pop out in front of me when I'm not recording. It's like they know and they're like I'm not gonna be on video. No, not, not today human. So anyway you all have a fantastic night, day, evening, whatever it is. And remember that you take care of your pets. They will take care of you. And have a fantabulous day. Bye-bye.